Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to today's Drawing for Kids class. This class is offered as a partnership between the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center, both located downtown Ann Arbor. Today we're going to be drawing these really fun, magical animal kingdoms. This is going to be a drawing that is based on your imagination. So I want you to imagine a kingdom that is ruled by animals. What would the royal family look like? What, would it have a castle? Um, who would be there? What kind of animals would you use? So you you are going to just grab a pencil to start and a piece of paper. Pick an animal to start with. I am going to draw a swan because that just seems fun and I like the idea of creating kind of a moat around the castle and having an animal that would be of course in the water. So I am drawing the swan. You can draw whatever animal you want. Of course it does not have to be something that would go in the water. and then you are going to um, just go ahead and draw that. I also think it's fun to consider cropping it off the edge so you can see the way that I'm cropping it off the edge of my paper here so that it looks like it's coming from somewhere else. So we're not seeing the full uh, swan at this point. Now, of course, you have to think about what your animal would look like if they were royalty. So maybe your animal has a crown or other kind of royal uh, clothing. You can add gems and diamonds, whatever you want um, to the crown or tiara. So um, again, you can draw whatever kind of extra designs that you want. So I am adding just some fun little uh, dots kind of around the neck just I'm gonna probably make them really colorful later all right so then you get to decide what you want your background to look like so again I want to have a great big castle and a, um, a body of water that the swan is sitting in so that um, I have this really nice like castle it should be pretty small in the background because it's further away so think about when you're creating your space make sure it makes sense that um, you know whatever you want to have that's further away in the background should be a little bit smaller versus if your animal for example like mine is in the front in the foreground then it would of course be larger so that's just something to consider as you're creating this magical animal kingdom here so um, you can see now I'm adding more details in my background I'm adding some fun little textured shingles to the roof on the castle. I also have some flags, I have some windows, um, you can see my trees, the little ripples in the water, and now I'm just going to add some fence posts. So this is more of just showing my example and how to just keep on adding more details. I really could be taking this several steps further as well. Um, so keep working on creating a really imaginative drawing before you start to color. When you are ready to color, you can can um, add you know crayons colored pencils markers whatever materials that you prefer to use whatever you have on hand will work even watercolor paint could be really fun with, with this so um, as you can see I'm just gonna wrap up adding a few extra little details here so before I start coloring I'm gonna redraw these little circles on this one as well and just make a few less circles um, and then I'm just using colored pencils to lightly color things in here so you can see um, I'm not getting super detailed I hope that when you're drawing yours and coloring it that you'll spend a little bit more time being more precise with your colors um, but I will add a little bit I'll go back and add a little bit more detail to this um, so anyway have fun coloring these I think these will be super fun use your imagination feel free to use uh, draw more than one animal if you'd like you can think there's I'm sure there's several animals that could be part of the royalty in your magical kingdom so have fun creating this and I'm sure it will be wonderful